example four in 10.3 here throws a bit of a curveball. And what they're giving us is they're giving us the final result of a particular composition. And that is important. H of X is F of G of X. So G of X is the inner function. And I really do, you know, a lot of students, I, I think like this, I, I don't really know, I guess. Um, but if I identify, I'm just going to rewrite it really, that H of X is X minus two squared plus X minus two plus one. I think it's important to see that X minus two is substituted into two locations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wild stab at it. And I'm going to say that X minus two is G of X. Now, what that allows me to do is I'm going to rewrite this and I'm going to say, okay, function H, um, keep in mind that function H is F of G of X. So I'm going to say that F of G of X is equal to, well, X minus two, I'm saying is G of X and that's squared plus, well, there's X minus two again. So that's G of X. And then finally, there's a plus one on the outside. Well, if that's F of G of X, then F of X is going to be, so instead of G of X now, I'm going to put an X that's squared plus an X and then plus a one. And it's one of those tricky things about noticing some of the patterns that pretty clearly we've put X minus two or substituted it into two different locations in the resulting function. So what I'm gonna say here, I'm just gonna summarize that if G of X is equal to X minus two, and f of x is equal to x squared plus x plus one. I'm going to make this, and this is a kind of a verification step, that assuming I've identified f and x and g of x correctly, then I can say that h of x, which is f of g of x, is going to be, I'm going to take what I just wrote in red, f of x, instead of x, it's going to be x minus two, and that's squared, plus an x minus two, and then finally plus a one. And that was certainly what was given to us in the question. Um, the reality is that some of these are going to have multiple answers that you could possibly give. I would recommend that you look for the simplest pattern noticeable and then run with that. One other thing that I really do think makes a heck of a difference in questions like this is check your answer. Verify that you've done it correctly by doing the composition. And if nothing else, you're going to get more and more competent with these confident or maybe i should say confident not competent but you're going to get more and more comfortable as we go all right so i cut off a little bit but i think this is enough i'll rewrite it here that h of x is the square root of x cubed plus one now right away for me if i see a square root i think to myself okay that's going to be my outer function my outer function is the square root of an x variable but it's not the square root of x it's the square root of x cubed plus one so i'm going to say that g of x is that new radicand which is x cubed plus one. And then just to make sure that I've done it correctly, I'm gonna say that h of x, which they identified as f of g of x, based on what I've written there, f of g of x is the square root of function g, which is x cubed plus one. And that's back to what they've given us. Now, I, I do wanna show you that there's more than one way of doing this. I could say that function f of x is the square root of x plus one, and then function g of x is equal to x cubed. And if I look at doing f of g of x for what I've done in blue there, f of g of x, so function f is the square root of the variable plus one, but now the variable is gonna be function g, which is x cubed. And that still gets me to the final result. So unfortunately, sometimes, you know, it definitely, I'm sure you found, in dash one math and beyond, math becomes much less discrete, and there's gonna be more than one way to do a problem, and that's fine. Um, when we specifically ask you for a technique, please do that technique. We won't really do that as much in chapter 10 as we did, you know, say chapter three when we learned how to factor. Um, but it is important that there is more than one answer. Um, I think that what I wrote in black here is the best answer or the easiest pattern to notice. But this blue technique is just as valid and results in the same overall or final composition.